Welcome to the On Demand Reports video series. This video is about the data entry monitoring report. So our data entry monitoring report is a report that has been designed to help you monitor student data entry by data entry page. So the report is going to look at the completeness of data by page, the fall page, background page, entry page, etc and tell you the completeness of the data. Now, it's just checking some key fields. It's not inspecting every piece of data. Uh, and it uses a color code system to indicate the completeness of the data. And it is a type of report that we call a drill down report. So you will see in our example, we will start, the report starts up at a site level and it shows the completeness of data by school districts. We can then click on a school district and see the completeness of data by school. And we can keep drilling down into the report to um, ever more granular levels. So, hey, let's take a look. So here we go. Here is a, our first look at a data entry monitoring report. You will see your name right here at the top of the report. In this left hand column, you will have the names of your school districts. In this particular one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven school districts. And now if we keep going across here, across the columns here, we'll see that this for next column, the student count column tells us how many student records this report is finding in each of the school districts. So for example, in our bottom school district here, we have six students that it's finding. Next one up has eight students. So we can kind of see are our teachers entering data about their students. Then you'll notice the next columns, which say background, fall, entry, uh, mid-year, exit, year-end, and other year-end. These are the data entry pages that you would find on our student data entry screen. And you can see that they have different colors. And these colors, as we said in the introduction, um, indicate the completeness of the data. So for example, we're gonna take this second school district here, the one with six students, and we see that their background data uh, column is red and that tells us that the data are mostly incomplete so teachers have not entered most of the background data for the students fall and entry are green which means that the data are completed teachers are doing a great job there uh, we've probably got some random sample or TNI students in here under the orange and the data is somewhat complete and at the time of the recording of this video which was in February um, no one's entered any exit year end or other year end data so the data here are here are mostly incomplete so you can use this to gauge the completeness of your data entry going by your uh, that your teachers are doing so now i said this was a drill down report so we're going to take i'm actually going to go down to this school district right here the fourth one and i am going to click on its name right here and what happens is that the report updates and now you'll see the name of the school district right here and then the names of the schools just off here on the left hand side of the page. So we've drilled down into the report to a slightly more granular level and we can see what's going on by individual school. So now I can also click on the school's name and here we see the school's name at the top and we can see the teacher's name listed right over here and we can see what the how the data entry is going for a specific teacher if i click on the teacher's name it will show me the teacher's students right here along with the teacher's name at the top of the of the chart right there and so now we can actually see which individual students are missing uh, particular pieces of data if we need to have that type of information now, if you need to get back to the top of the report, all we have to do is click this little arrow right up here. And if you hover over, it says go back to the parent report. We're going to click on that. That takes us back up to the school level. If I click on it one more time, it takes us to the school district level. And then finally, if I click on it one last time, it takes us right back up to the site level. So that's how you can drill back up in the report to get back to the top of the report. So what are some potential uses for this report? Well, really it's designed 
for your personal use to monitor the data entry progress throughout the school year. You know, you're a teacher leader. We know that you're busy doing a lot of stuff and it's not easy sometimes to keep on top of data entry throughout the school year. So this report was designed to make it so you can do a quick look to see who is not entering data, who is entering data, and this way you know who to contact to, uh, to get going to get entering data. It is not meant to be used in a public forum as it contains teacher and student names. So please do not use this report. Do not print it out and use it in a public forum. So that concludes this on-demand video series for our data entry monitoring report. I want to thank you for watching. And ladies and gentlemen, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right there so you can receive notifications about all of our videos that we post up on our YouTube page, especially I Love Data Fridays. Thank you for watching.